between the Pacific and Asian European plates, rise rolling undersea mountains that form a chain of islands in the Pacific Ocean, the Japanese islands. Today, I will tell the story of what happened on these islands. In 10,000 BC, traces of human activity began to appear in the southern part of the island of Japan. These first inhabitants of Japan, most likely from the Asian continent, crossed the sea through southern Korea to Japan. These inhabitants, like other human groups on the planet at the time, lived a life of fishing and hunting. However, unlike other groups in other regions that were constantly on the move, the early inhabitants of Japan lived in very fixed locations, suggesting that the island was rich in animal and plant resources. These Stone Age Japanese also made black pottery, which historians have called the Yoman Age, because of the markings of the rope pattern on the pottery. In 300 BC, Japan entered a new period. A great deal of even finer pottery was found on sites from this period, and because it was first found in the town of Yayoi in Tokyo, this period is called the Yayoi period. Archaeologists have not only discovered new pottery, but also that the Yayoi had agriculture and began to grow rice, and that the Yayoi had more concentrated settlements and more complex society. The Yayoi not only changed their way of life compared to the Yoman, but also their height and appearance. With the Yayoi being taller and having longer faces, since the early Yayoi period coincided with the end of the Warring States period in mainland China, archaeologists have speculated that many Yayoi fled to Japan after the destruction of the Warring States period in China. The Japanese of this period have found no written records of their history but Chinese history books do leave records of Japan. According to the Three Kingdoms records, the Wei records, there was a small alliance of states in Japan, led by the Queen of the Yamatai, called Himiko. According to the records, the Yamatai was already a fairly sophisticated state, with its bureaucracy and army, and a well-developed agricultural and handicraft industry. The kingdom had frequent dealings with the Chinese mainland state of Wei, sending missions to Wei on several occasions, and exchanging gifts of pearls and gold. Around 250 AD, a larger state, called Yamato, emerged in what is now the center of Nara Prefecture in Japan. Japan entered the Yamato period. This Yamato kingdom was known for its massive tombs, which is why the early Yamato period is also called the Kofun period. The Yamato kingdom was a powerful state that used iron extensively, and it is here that the traditional Japanese Shinto religion would have originated. The Yamato kingdom was also deeply involved in the situation on the Korean peninsula, with Yamato supporting the small state of Baikia on the Korean peninsula against the powerful states of Gaguryeo and Silla, in the north of the peninsula. During the war in Korea, Yamato learned to fight on horseback and introduced war horses to Japan. Despite Yamato's full support of Baikia, the latter was unable to resist its powerful adversary. Defeat on the Korean peninsula also led to internal turmoil in Yamato, and in 592, Yamato minister, Soga no Umako, took the opportunity to kill Emperor Sushun and crown the first empress in Japanese history, Empress Suko, and acclaimed his grandson, Prince Shotoku, as regent. Prince Shotoku carried out reforms to strengthen imperial power and ties with the Chinese dynasty and made Buddhism, which had been imported from China, the state religion. After the death of Emperor Suko and Prince Shotoku, the Soga family took control of the court, sparking discontent among the royal family and the nobility. In 645, Prince Nakanoe killed Soga no Iruka, crowned Emperor Kodoku, 
and carried out reforms to further strengthen the imperial power, historically known as the Taika Reform. At this time, the situation in Korea changed again, when Baikia and Gaguyo joined forces and attacked Silla, which turned to the Tang Empire for help. In 660 AD, the Tang Empire sent an army to support Silla. In an attempt to regain power in Korea, Prince Nakanoe sent an army to support Baikia. In 663 AD, the Japanese army was defeated by the allied forces of the Tang Empire and Silla at the Battle of Baekgang and retreated to Japan. In 668 AD, Prince Nakanoe became the new emperor, Emperor Tenji. Four years later, Emperor Tenji died, and war broke out between his brother and son over the throne, known as the Jinshin War. Eventually, his brother, Prince Ima, won and became Emperor Tenmyo. It took over a hundred years for the imperial family to establish the Japanese imperial system. In 710 AD, the imperial family moved its capital to Hijokyo in the Nara Basin. As the Tang Empire was at its height, Japan learned from the Tang Empire and Hijokyo and later Heian-kyo, were built based on the architectural techniques and styles of Chang'an, the capital of the Tang Empire, as well as incorporating the original Japanese culture. To this day, Nara, which grew out of Hijokyo, and Kyoto, which grew out of Heian-kyo, remain some of the most beautiful cities in the world. and the history of Japan, which began with the move of the capital to Hijokyo, has entered a new period, the Nara period. At the beginning of the Nara period, further reforms by the emperor led to political clarity and economic development. All this made the country strong, and therefore the country expands. Japan conquers the Emishi in the northeast and built new towns in many places, and ruled most of mainland Japan. But the Fujiwara clan, a great nobleman family, and already some important court officials, gained more political influence as a relative by marrying two daughters to two emperors, and gradually came to dominate the court. In 794, Emperor Kanmyu moved the capital to Heian-kyo and Japan entered the Heian period. As a result of the annexation of land, many of the great nobles owned large tracts of land and became lords of large estates. These great nobles in turn kept many private soldiers, who gradually became samurai, and the samurai came to the stage of Japanese history. The most powerful of these samurai groups were the Terra clan of Kanto and the Minamoto clan of Setsu. At this time the emperor was Emperor Shirakawa, who, after 14 years on the throne, ceded the throne to Emperor Horikawa at the age of eight, and became Emperor Emeritus, setting up an office in his residence to assist him in his administration, avoiding the constraints of the law, and the interference of the Fujiwara family, thus beginning the century-long era of the cloistered rule. Emperor Emeritus was also known as the Cloistered Emperor if he became a monk in a temple. To counter the power of the Fujiwara family, Emperor Emeritus Shirakawa began to rely on the two samurai clans, the Terra and the Minamoto clan. Emperor Emeritus's over-reliance on the two samurai clans led to a significant expansion of their power. But between the two samurai families, two, each colluded with the emperor and other factions of the great nobility, in the power struggle. The Minamoto clan, who had been instrumental in the Jin Rebellion, and helped Emperor Emeritus Go Shirakawa defeat Emperor Emeritus Shitoku, became dissatisfied that, the Terra clan had been rewarded with a higher official position than themselves, and collaborated with the Fujiwara family, to detain the Emperor and the Emperor Emeritus. The Terra clan's member, 
Terra no Kiyomori, immediately led the army to attack the Minamoto clan, and in the battle, the Minamoto clan was defeated, and almost all of their adult family members were killed, except for a few children, including the 13-year-old Minamoto no Yoritamo. Yoritamo was exiled to the Aiza Peninsula. The incident became known as the Heiji Rebellion. Terra no Kiyomori became Dei Daijin, the prime minister of state, married his daughter to the emperor, and placed his men full of the court, giving large estates to his men, taking control of Japan. Both the imperial family, and the most of nobility, hated the Terra family and rebelled against them several times, but they failed. A few years later, however, Minamoto no Yoritamo, a member of the Minamoto clan who had been exiled to Aizu, married the daughter of a local nobleman, Hojo Tokimasa, and with the help of his father-in-law, rose against the Terra clan, first losing and then winning. After several years of war, he finally defeated the Haika army at the Battle of Ichinotani. Minamoto no Yoritamo then led his army to destroy the Fujiwara family, in Oshu, taking complete control of Japan. In 1192, he was appointed shogun by Emperor Nijo, and established the shogunate, known as the Kamakura Shogunate. The shogunate period began in Japan. After the establishment of the Kamakura Shogunate, Yoritamo ruled through the Gokunin system, a system where the shogunate rewarded samurai families from all over Japan with land for their estates in return for their loyalty. The Gokunin system became an important source of feudal lordship in later Japan. The imperial family was very dissatisfied with the shogunate rule of the Minamoto family in 1192, taking advantage of the internal strife within the shogunate, caused by the incompetence of his son Yoritamo. After the death of Minamoto Yoritamo, Emperor Gotoba issued a declaration of the court to crush the de facto controller of the shogunate, Hojo Yoshitomo. But at the instigation of Minamoto Yoritamo's wife, Hojo Yoshitomo's sister, Hojo Masako, the shogunate quickly gathered 190,000 troops from all over Japan and defeated the emperor's army. The three Emperor Emeritus were exiled to the Outer Islands, and many of the great nobles were executed. This was the Jokyu War. During this period in Eurasia, the Mongol armies were conquering all sides. The UN Emperor Kublai sent messengers three times to ask Japan to submit, but the Shogunate refused to do so. The UN army then launched two major attacks on Japan in 1274 and 1281, but on both occasions they were met with typhoons, causing the UN to return in defeat. As the generations of the Kamakura shogunate changed, the new shoguns lost the bravery and determination of their fathers, and became pleasure-seeking, incompetent, and weak. In 1333, the Emperor Gaudego secretly contacted an important ally of the shogunate's Hojo clan, the Ashikaga Takashi, a descendant of the Minamoto clan family, and raided Kamakura, killing over 800 members of the shogunate's Hojo clan, and bringing an end to the 141-year reign of the Kamakura shogunate. The Emperor Emeritus Gaudego rewarded Ashikaga Takashi, which made Ashikaga seem dignified, but in reality, the Emperor Emeritus feared that the Ashikaga family would become another Hojo family and began to weaken the Ashikaga family of its power. Taking advantage of the rebellion of the remaining members of the Hojo clan, Ashikaga Takashi began to oppose Emperor Emeritus Gaudego, then captured Kyoto, deposed Emperor Emeritus Gaudego, crowned Emperor Kumayo, and had Emperor Kumayo and Noble himself as Shogun. It is known as the Muromaki Shogunate. Emperor Emeritus Gaudego fled from Kyoto, and formed a new court in the south of the city, and the northern and southern courts period began. The northern court was stronger than the southern court, 
but the Muromaki shogunate was unable to deal with the southern court because of internal rivalry for power and profit. So the northern and southern courts lasted for 57 years. Under the Muromaki shogunate, the local lords were no longer the Gokunin, who had been so close to the shogun during the Kamakura shogunate, but more independent and powerful local guardian daimyo. The shogun was effectively the leader of the guardian daimyo alliance, but control was not what it once was, and had to rely on political maneuvering and strong military power to maintain it. Eighth General Yitsushiro Yoshimasa indulged in women and drinking and ignored the government. While his wife Hino Tomiko took power and the shogun its prestige declined. And these conflicts erupted in 1467, when the shogun's heir event was involved in a civil war, the Anin War, in which two-thirds of the country's daimyo were involved, and much of the area around Kyoto was destroyed. There was no real victor in the war, but the shogunate was no longer in control of the situation, and was reduced to local power. The daimyo of each region began to attack each other. Since then Japan has entered the Warring States period. The Warring States period is one of the most dramatic and exciting chapters in Japanese history, and the Warring States period stories of the heroes are still told by the Japanese today. The most dazzling of these heroes being Oda Nobunaga of the Owari province. He reformed his army, and with a strong one, joined forces with the daimyo Tokugawa Ayasu of the Makua province, defeated many powerful enemies. In 1568, entered Kyoto by imperial decree, abolished the shogun Ashikaga Yoshi, and installed a new shogun, Oda Nobunaga, held the emperor, and held the empire. Throughout the years, Oda Nobunaga continued to defeat the powerful daimyos, sweeping away the major lords of the Kanto region. In 1573, he abolished Ashikaga Yoshiaki, the last shogun of the Muromaki shogunate, bringing an end to the Muromaki period. At the height of his popularity, Oda Nobunaga was besieged by his vassal, Akaki Mitsuhide at Hanaji in Kyoto and burned himself to death. After Oda Nobunaga's death, his close vassal Hashiba Hideyoshi killed the traitor Mitsuhide and took over the power. In 1586, he was given the title Daijo Daijin, the Prime Minister of State, and given the surname Toyotomi by the Emperor. In 1593, Toyotomi Hideyoshi unified the southern of Hokkaido and completed the unification of Japan. Despite having unified Japan, Hideyoshi, a man of humble origins, was still not satisfied and wanted to build something bigger. In 1592, Toyotomi Hideyoshi sent 150,000 troops to attack Korea. Unable to withstand the Japanese attack, Korea turned to Ming Empire for help. The Ming Empire sends troops into Korea to confront the Japanese army and repel them, who retreat to the south of Korea to take up positions, and negotiations begin between the two sides. But Toyotomi Hideyoshi was not satisfied and sent another 140,000 troops to reinforce his army in 1597, and a naval battle broke out between the two sides with the Joseon Navy eventually defeating the Japanese Navy. While on land, the Japanese army was also defeated by the Ming and Joseon alliance. When Toyotomi Hideyoshi died in 1598, the five big ministers of the Japanese court decided to end the war, and Japanese troops were withdrawn from Korea. The failure of the invasions caused a major loss of strength for Toyotomi Hideyoshi's faction while Tokugawa Ayasu, who was at the head of the five bigger, did not send troops to the invasion at all, making the Tokugawa family the strongest. In 1600, Tokugawa Ayasu's army and that of Toyotomi Hideyori, son of Toyotomi Hideyoshi, met at Sekigahara, and the Tokugawa family won a great victory and became the new rulers. 
In 1603, Tokugawa Ieyasu was made shogun and established the shogunate in Edo. Starting the Tokugawa period, also known as the Edo period. Learning from the lessons of the Warring States period, the Tokugawa shogunate began to reform and vigorously restrict the power of the daimyos. To prevent the daimyos from gaining access to resources through trade, foreign trade bent strategy was implemented and Catholicism was strictly prohibited. The Tokugawa period is considered to be the most stable and peaceful period in Japan's history. And the country's economy grew increasingly prosperous, especially in Edo, the seat of the shogunate, where the city culture flourished, and many elements of present-day Japanese culture come from this period. Despite the Tokugawa shogunate's been the foreign trade, the shogunate's control was greatly reduced during the latter part of the Tokugawa shogunate. Western culture was still being introduced into Japan and the coastal provinces were making a fortune from smuggling and became powerful provinces, which later became the main force behind the campaign against the shogunate. Japanese lived a quiet life under the Tokugawa shogunate, but the world had changed. In 1853, the shogunate was forced to open its ports to trade when four warships of American broke into Tokyo Bay, the Perry Expedition. Britain and Russia followed, and the gates of Japan were opened after a century of the blockade. In the following years, the coastal provinces, Satsuma and Choshu, were defeated by Western fleets in successive battles, the Anglo-Satsuma War, and the Shimonoseki Campaign, making many Japanese daimyos and elites realize that the only way to build a strong Japan was to overthrow the closed and conservative shogunate. After a series of events, in 1868, the newly reigning emperor Meiji united with the southwestern provinces and demanded that the shogun, Tokugawa Yoshinobu, step down, and war broke out between the emperor's army and the shogun's forces in the Tobafushimi area. After three days of fighting, the Emperor's army won and the Shogun's army retreated to Edo. When the Emperor's army surrounded Edo, Tokugawa Yoshinobu had no choice but to surrender, bringing an end to the centuries-old shogunate politics in Japan. In the same year, the Emperor's army destroyed the remnants of the shogunate in Hokkaido, ending the civil war known as the Boshin War, and bringing Japan into a new era, the Meiji period the emperor, and the factions opposed to the shogunate, formed a new government. Following the example of the German, promulgated a new constitution, and began a constitutional monarchy. The emperor regained power and began the Meiji Restoration, following the Western civilization. All of Japan was full of hope and energy, was running wildly towards the goal of turning Japan into a modernized country. After nearly 30 years of reform, Japan had grown in power and built up a new army and navy. So Japan began to realize its expansionist designs, targeting, once again, Korea. In 1894, taking advantage of the unrest in Korea, Japan sent troops into Korea and took over the royal palace, confronting the Qing army in Korea, and soon, the two countries declared war. The Qing-Japan War broke out. The Qing army was no match for the Japanese and retreated to China. And at sea, the naval battle of the Yellow Sea broke out, in which the Japanese fleet crushed the North Ocean fleet of the Qing dynasty, which was known as the most powerful fleet in Asia. The Japanese army then attacked China, capturing Lushan in Dalian, in January 1895, the Japanese captured the Weihaiwei Harbor and wiped out the North Ocean Fleet. The Qing army was in defeat and the Qing court had to seek peace, with Minister Li Hongzhong signing the Treaty of Shimonoseki on behalf of the Qing Empire and Japan. 
giving Japan the Liaodong Peninsula and Taiwan, and a large sum of reparations. Tsarist Russia was very unhappy with Japan's expansion in Manchuria, and joined Germany and France to force Japan to withdraw from the Liaodong Peninsula. The Russo-Japanese conflict began to sharpen. Japan and Britain allied, and began to seek war against Russia. In 1904, the Russo-Japanese War broke out, and at the end of the year, the Japanese army attacked the fortress of Lushan to prevent the Russian Baltic Fleet from coming to join the Russian Pacific Fleet, and at great cost, captured Lushan and destroyed the Russian fleet in its harbor. They also held off a Russian counterattack at the Battle of Mukden. In May 1905, the Russian Baltic Fleet finally arrived in the Sea of Japan, and the Japanese combined fleet took advantage of the situation, and fought a naval battle against the Russian fleet in the Tsushima Strait, defeating it in one fell swoop. Russia, unsettled at home and unmotivated to fight again, with US mediation, Russia and Japan reached an armistice, and Russia withdrew from the Korean Peninsula and South Manchuria. Japan also captured some of Russia's territory in the subsequent Battle of Sakhalin. After Japan won the Russo-Japanese War, it took full control of the Korean Peninsula and South Manchuria. When World War I broke out in 1914, Japan joined the Allied side as an ally of Britain and launched an offensive against the German colonies in Shandong, China. After World War I, Japan had taken over all German interests in China, and exerted a strong influence over China's Biang government. Japan won successive wars of foreign aggression after the Meiji Restoration, acquiring great wealth and vast amounts of land, and Japan became one of the world's great powers. These gains greatly inflated Japan's ambitions, especially the rapid strengthening of military power within Japan, even over the elected civilian government, which sowed the seeds of Japan's later defeat. In 1926, Emperor Showa ascended to the throne, and Japan entered the Showa period. Japan stationed a large number of troops in the Manchurian, expelled the local Chinese warlords, installed Manchu Kuo, took control of the whole of Manchuria, and was in constant conflict with the then Chinese nationalist government, in places such as northern China and Shanghai. In August 1937, Chinese troops launched a major attack on Japanese troops. In the Japanese concession in Shanghai, Japan sent large numbers of troops to reinforce them and an all-out war broke out between China and Japan. The Chinese army was outmatched, and had to retreat inland, as Japan took control of half of China. In 1940, Japan signed the Tripartite Pact with Germany and Italy, and the Axis powers were formed. In 1941, Japan attacked Pearl Harbor and almost wiped out the U.S. Pacific Fleet. At the same time, Japan attacked Malaya, the Philippines, Indonesia, Thailand, and Burma. Quickly defeated the Western armies there, capturing a large amount of territory and pointing it straight at Australia. With such a large area of land under Japanese control, the Japanese Empire reached the peak of its expansion. But with the mighty American military machine in motion, the new and powerful American fleet began to confront Japan in the Pacific. Through the battles of the Coral Sea, Midway, and Guadalcanal, the U.S. forces gradually gained the upper hand, and used leapfrogging strategy to close in on the Japanese mainland. In June 1945, the U.S. forces occupied Okinawa, and the door to the Japanese mainland was opened. With the U.S. dropping two atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki, Japan was unable to fight anymore. On August 15, 1945, Emperor Hirohito issued the final edict of war, declaring unconditional surrender. <laughs>
After the U.S. occupation of Japan, the U.S. adopted a strategy to transform Japan by the emperor being a titular head, demilitarizing Japan, and abolishing the aristocracy. However, many of the old Japanese bureaucrats and zaibatsu were still retained to run the country, to counter Soviet influence. With the outbreak of the Korean War in 1950, Japan became the home base for the U.S. military in combat, and the massive purchases gave the Japanese economy a boost, and it began to rebound rapidly. Subsequently, as the front line in the fight against the communist world, the most important member of the Far East, Japan received massive technology transfers and capital from the U.S., as well as huge markets in the West. The Japanese economy began to take off, and by the 1980s, it was the world's second largest economy after the United States, and had surpassed it in several respects to become the world's number one. After the Plaza Accord in 1985, the yen appreciated sharply, and with Japan's long-standing policy of low interest rates, Japanese capital expanded extremely rapidly, and massive bubbles began to appear in the Japanese securities and real estate markets, leaving the Japanese economy looking extremely prosperous, but actually in danger. The bursting of the bubble in the early 1990s and the rapid evaporation of vast amounts of wealth from the securities and real estate markets devastated the Japanese economy. The economy grew slowly for the next 20 years, known as the lost decade. Despite this, Japan still has great technological and industrial strength, and so Japan remains one of the world's most important economies. Japan's biggest crisis, however, is a problem that postmodern countries are experiencing, an aging population and low fertility rates. Young people in Japan, like young people in all developed parts of the world, are no longer willing to have children. And it is a big challenge for Japan, as a non-immigrant country. In addition, after 2000, Japan will have to face globalization and post-globalization, a rising and ambitious China, a changing United States, and many other issues. What kind of future will Japan have? <laughs>